So we put two icebreakers in here. What's the most surprising thing you've learned so far in this course and most surprising thing you've learned so far in your career? And if anyone has any other icebreaker ideas, please, well, you can also propose your own questions there. So I'm trying to think of something specifically related to today's materials, which is a bit, um, we have a wide range of topics. Um, yeah, so what's our summary so far? Where have we come from and where did we go? We started with day one, and it seemed like it was pretty normal Python stuff, like Jupyter, NumPy, Pandas, I mean, doing Python code. Day two, did we start getting exciting? So day two started pretty normal with Pandas and Matplotlib, so again, using normal Python code. Towards the end, we start seeing more interactions with the rest of the world. So the data formats emphasizing how it's not just about the code, but how you mess with this other um, <coughs> um, how, how you read and write data outside of Python can matter. And then, of course, the things like the linters and so on, which is user interface. But then yesterday, I mean, yesterday's the kind of stuff which is really important for using Python, but you wouldn't see in a typical course. So things like making the scripts, well, you might see that in a Python course, not a purely theoretical programming course, but... Um, yeah, kind of introduction to programming with Python might not even use Jupyter, it might use just scripts. And the library ecosystem and dependency management. <clears throat> well, that is um I mean that that's really getting to the kind of stuff which we use and we support people with on a daily basis. So my estimate has been that about half of our total support requests are helping to install software on the cluster, a lot of which is in Python and could, in theory, be done independently. But it's so confusing and hard. Yeah, dependencies that, are yeah. a complicated topic and big unsolved problem. Um, it's also the reason, like all of these libraries, that the fact that they exist is the reason why Python is good. I mean, the language itself is good, but the main reason people actually use it is because there are already all of these libraries available. So. Hello from my side as well. Hello. Yeah, like I was just thinking <clears throat> myself at that, like uh, quite often when, when using Python, it's more about reading what some other person has done, like a package, and then reading how they want to, you to use it, and then just using it. <laughs> and it's it's like, is this can you call this even like coding when you're like calling functions from other libraries and that sort of stuff? But of In, course you are coding, yeah. but but Scripting like is coding. But... Yeah, and 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 using using like it would be wasteful uh, to to not use the capabilities provided by the other people so it's like and it's yeah usually the thing you find is not exactly the thing you want but you can like, coax your data to fit into that and kind of use it or uh, modify it slightly to make it what you want yeah and it's like buying like lego blocks like you buy lego blocks and then <clears throat> like you have a world uh, that you can create with them and you can of course like just follow the instructions and do the set that you have bought or whatever, or you can uh, go wild and do whatever you want with them, like co combine the blocks in an unexpected way and create something new. 
and that's what like usually happens but but you don't start molding the lego blocks yourself like that would be a waste of time <laughs> like getting like a 3d printer to to like mold the of course if you want to you can go like you can go to python libraries and and like start writing c code and that sort of yeah. stuff but then you're coding c code and you're not coding python right <laughs> So I think we need to do a volume check. Um, so, well, let's start with an order. Me, Simo, Yarno. One. 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 Two. 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 Three. 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 So I think Simo is too loud. I can also drop it here. I'm actually not at 100%. I'm Is it hiding. better now? Uh, you still seem pretty loud. Okay. Better? One. Two. One. Sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Two. One, one. Two. Two. Okay, is this better? Okay. Might be just my enthusiasm rubbing off. Yeah. So I'm liking these icebreaker answers here. I just thought of these last minute, but it's good to see what's surprising in the course. And also, I like these career lessons also. So last time there was some problems with a blurry screen and one part might have been Twitch, but also it might have been, so people are sharing by Zoom and then I render it on the screen and then capture it and then it gets rebroadcasted. So there might be a little bit of blur that comes here. So if you see a problem, let me know, is it really bad or like a little bit of anti-aliasing around the letters and let us know right away and we'll try to fix that. Yeah, on, on your side, I recommend in the Twitch, there's like this cork icon at the bottom right of the video where you can click uh, the video quality and you can make it to appear as source source quality because otherwise it's automatic and then it might degrade it based on the um, network performance that you have so you might like get suddenly a blurry <laughs> blurry flash because it's buffering or something like that so so setting it to force it to be the highest quality <laughs> might mitigate some of the problems okay well it's 1001 uh any comments from these surprising things, or should we just go on? Should us instructors say the most surprising stuff? Maybe we should just go on. We can answer this in the panel yeah. discussion. Okay. I mean, the um, wheel getting reinvented, right? but yeah, we'll talk about it. Well, at least we will yeah. talk about how to package your own stuff so that other people don't need to necessarily write yeah. it themselves um, later. But first we have some parallel processing. Okay, so I'll head out. Can yeah, who's sharing I can take the, the share right. if you capture from my screen. Okay. Uh, I see it. Okay, I will head off.